Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk to you about bush boxes. Now I've got two of them, the LF and the XL, and they're both the titanium models. Whenever I talk about these twig burners, wood stoves, uh, hobo stoves, whatever you want to call them, I always get asked why. Now there's various reasons why. Um, you might have fire bands, you may have dry floor, um, you may be using it on top of a log, you could be using it on a campsite. Also the morning after a camp when you don't want to be having a big fire and having to extinguish that, cool it down, bury it. One of these is very handy to do your breakfast on and get going as quickly as possible. Now there's many types of wood burning stoves. Um, the reason I like these ones is because they're hinged. I'm going to show you the difference between two now. To give you an idea of how easy the bush box is to put together, I've got one of these um, slot together stoves, which you can see the warping on it. And uh, I'll attempt to put that together. So with these, okay, so you have to find what side's what. Slot three sides together. This gets harder the more warped it gets. Put in your fire grate. This has not seen an awful lot of use either. So, and we're done. Now it's not a lot of effort, but you do get mucky and um, it does take time and it gets harder the more you use it. Now for the bush box, all you have to do is pull the sides apart like so. The ashtray will slot in and the fire grate down there will slot in too and you're done. Now you do have your pot stands or trivets and they have a variety of ways of slotting in so you can be right on top or you can uh, lift off of the top slightly depending on which way round you have them. I also quite like the patina you get with the uh, titanium model, the colour change on the metal. Now the pot stands can also be used inside through these slots and that allows you to put a hexi stove like a tranger inside held securely and you can put your pan on top to cook. The bush box is also designed and built here in Europe in Germany and the build quality of these is absolutely fantastic. They're really rugged, um, anything that gets hot will warp a little bit but the warping is very minimal in my experience so far and I've owned this for two years now. A lot of the cheaper models are Chinese ones and um, a lot of them are thin metal that warps a lot and are very fiddly to put together as you've seen. Now here is how the stoves come. This is the LF and the XL being the bigger one. Like I said, these are both the titanium versions. The LF comes in at 270 grams or 313 of the pouch and the XL 490 grams with 540 grams being with the pouch. Now as a comparison, the steel models are almost twice as heavy with the LF being 470 and the XL being 800 grams. The pouches are velcroed, they have straps on the back and a D-ring as well, so you can carry it on the outside of the pack if you did want to. Let's have a look at a few of the accessories as well. Now on the XL version here, you can see we've got the cooking grate. Now you can get this for both models, this is the titanium one, you can also get them in steel and that allows you to grill directly over the coals that you gather inside of the stove itself rather than using a pan. You can also rest smaller things on here as well. Now both stoves also have available this leather pouch which is very nice, also has a strap on the back and a popper on the front. And if I take that out, see one more accessory here. This is the multifunctional case, this is the titanium one and the stoves just slide right inside like so. Set up the stove just by unfolding it and these will flick down. That's the ashtray and the fire grate. Then you can use the multifunctional stand like so. So that gets even more of the heat off of the surface you're cooking on and um, catches any coals, sparks and uh, ash that falls away. So as well as being a case and an ashtray, you can use it for other things as well. I've seen people cook using it and you can also light your fire with a ferro rod on here to then transfer into the stove itself. The Bushbox LF is 14 centimeters tall by 10 centimeters deep and 10 centimeters wide. The thickness is one millimeter and folded is one centimeter thick. The Bushbox XL is 21 centimeters tall by 17 centimeters wide and 17 centimeters deep. It also has a thickness of one centimeter and a thickness of one millimeter. 
And you can use the stove with ordinary twigs you find on the ground, feeding through the hole. You can use it by splitting a log and using it like a Swedish torch and putting your fire starter in the middle. I find the easiest way is to light a fire lighter, drop it inside, feed a few small twigs in the stove. Doesn't matter at this stage if they're a little bit long. And then use battens of wood, which will be drier, will make better coals and will burn longer. Now with the stove going, you don't have to wait for the flames to die down if you're cooking on pots and pans. So I'm just going to put the kettle on here. Put in some water for a cup of tea. Now you can see them flames still burning strong. They've not been extinguished. The airflow hasn't been interrupted. It's still going well. And easy to feed while it's going. While it's burning away here, I wanted just to show you these clever little hinges. And apparently they're non-clog. I for one have never had any kind of gunky oil or ash or mud clog them up at all. It's a very clever little design. Sturdy too. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of oil. A few onions here to start off. Now I'm going to go in with some mushrooms. The mushrooms off, I'm just going to rest the grate on top here. So here we go. Um, ideally you should wait for more coals than what I had. There was still a bit of flame under there for the toast, but delicious all the same. There is our mushrooms. Our garnish of parsley. Tea. Et voilà. Oh, what a lovely breakfast. Makes a change from bacon. Now, a lot of you would have seen on the channel how often I use these. I've used on many, many camps up on rocks where there's not too much wood. If I just want a little bit of company <laughs> with a bit of fire and um, it's not suitable for a campfire or for cleaning up a campfire. Um, incredibly useful, incredibly light with the titanium model and just easy to sling in the pack. Now I was trying to think long and hard about what I would change about this product and to be honest, nothing at all. It works exactly as advertised, it holds up well. Um, you've got two different sizes for, for two different situations. Absolutely perfect in my opinion. So that's the Bushbox LF and the XL model. I'll put some links down below in the description field if you're interested. I'm not affiliated in any way, so all my opinions are that of my own. And as I said, I've used this product, both of them a hell of a lot, so I know what I'm talking about when it comes to these. Now, thank you guys very much for watching. If you'd like, you could check out some uh, stoves that aren't quite as good as this one and some other options on the channel here. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.